Morning, Diane. Morning, Willie. Really. Is the boss free? He's not in yet. Where is he? I don't know, but it's exactly a year today. Since what? Berlin. Ah, oh, Berlin. I'd forgotten. A year's a long time. I was there. She was my number two. I suppose he's all right, is he? He's not at home. I rang him. Does he ever mention her? Not since these Germans refused to release the body. Morning, Diane. Morning. Hello, Willie. Morning. Are you coming in? Hmm. I've only just remembered. Well, Laura. It's a year ago today, isn't it? Well, we can't live our lives looking backwards. No. Why are you late then? Well, I've not been to Berlin till every week, if that's what you think. And we've two other sandbaggers now. They can't be expected to operate in the shadow of Laura Dickens. No. I wanted to talk to you about the sandbaggers. Get it, Walkson. Top secret from Soviet Station. Run out of typewriter ribbons. Flash precedence. It's got to be trouble, isn't it? Yes. What were you saying about sandbaggers? Yes, can I put Mike into the special section duty roster now? He's been here three months. No. <clears throat> Boss. Tom and I are still working weekends, one in two. It's a hell of a drag. I'm not taking the risk of what? Of losing another sandbagger. The duty sandbagger's got to be able to tackle anything. You can, Tom Elliott can, but Mike needs two or three more trips. All right. Will you look after this? Will he? A year ago tonight in Berlin, you gave me a real tongue lashing. Hmm. Because you were the last one left. I don't ever want to get back to that again. Come in, Bruce. Excuse me, sir. Oh, thank you. Sam Baker, too? In the hutch. Sam Baker, three. Yes, sir. What you say? Boss wants you. Every time I try to nip out of the laundress, I've got socks in there that will be banned by the Geneva Convention. I'll shoot any that try to run away. And make sure Sam Bagger 2 is fully documented. Well, Sam's got that in hand, sir. OK. Vladimir Galabov. Head of the Bulgarian Secret Service. Mm. Well, he's made contact with Sophia Station. Is willing to pass us some highly sensitive material, provided that Tom goes out to collect it tonight. What? Oh, thanks, Diane. Thank you. Look, could you get hold of the pack on the Bulgarian Secret Service and anything on his chief? He's a man called Galabov. Right. Sandbagger 2 is here. William in. Okay. Morning, sir. Morning, Tom. Grab a chair, will you? Does the name Vladimir Galabov mean anything to you? Rings a vague bell. Can't think where. Well, you did a job in Bulgaria, what, three months ago? Mm-hmm. Just before Mike joined the section. Why me? Did you come across any Bulgarian secret service when you were there? Not to my knowledge. It was a nothing job. Contact didn't show. The chief of the Bulgarian secret service suddenly decides to hand us a list of his agents operating abroad. And what else? And other items of similar classification and sensitivity. But insists on a meeting personally with a named sandbagger to hand it over. A sandbagger that he's never met. Yes, but demands a short notice, take it or leave it, rendezvous at 11.15 local tonight in the middle of Sofia. It's got to be a setup. Well, for what reason? Shh. 
Sam, the ops here. Could you uh, get onto all the Warsaw Pact desks and check that we're not holding anyone the Soviets might want back? Oh, and Sam, what's the last flight to Sofia today? Thirteen forty. Thanks. Do you think it could be an exchange? If it's a setup. Well, if it's not, it's birthday and Christmas time all at once, isn't it? Yes, that's what worries me. There's going to be a lot of pressure from the sixth floor to go for this. Maybe we should. Ah, too many question marks. Why should he ask for you by name? He's bound to know the names of the three sandbaggers. Maybe he just chose the one in the middle, sandbagger two. Why a sandbagger at all? You may not want to risk a meet with the head of station, but a uh, special section officer, trained to make rendezvous unobserved. Oh, it's a possibility. But the question is why Yalabov should suddenly want to spray the name of his agents around the place. Could be feeding Duff Jen. Well, it's not a very subtle way to go about it, isn't it? Latest on Galabov is an appreciation by D. Int. Paper 14. Thank you. Galabov's a hard liner, almost certainly behind the umbrella murder in London, September 78, and the attacks elsewhere on prominent Bulgarian broadcasters and journalists. And the same man wants to sell out his agents. Uh, Burnside, sir. Have you seen the signal from Sophia Station? Yes. Can I come up now? Thank you. Right, Thomas. See me at departing Heathrow at 13.40. Do a full briefing. Roger, sir. Willie. Take charge down there, will you? Make sure I know Sophia like the back of his hand. Let him see some pictures of Galapov. And then get on to the station to provide a bolt hole. Tell them they can leave the key to it at Sofia Airport, but they're to pass the address to us here by secret signal. I don't like this at all. Neither do I. And I told you, I'm not going to lose another sandbagger. If we're not happy, he doesn't go. All right. Diane, I'll be with the deputy chief. Right. Oh, could you get on to the US Embassy? Find out if Ross is there. If he is, ask him to come over. If not, I'll meet him halfway. You should play. What time? 10.20, but tell him it's urgent. Right. Come. Morning, Neil. Morning. Take a chair. Thank you, sir. I've, uh, asked D. Int to join us. Good. Peculiar business. Yes, I'm not very happy about it. Peculiar. He is. Do you want to speak or can I take a message? Right. Duty ops officer. We aren't holding anyone who'd be likely exchange material. Well, I can't think of any other reason why it should be a setup. Well, you think it is? I don't know, but we're being hustled. Galabov made contact with the station this morning, wants a pick-up tonight. Well, it could be twitched. It would be if he's legitimate, because there's no way of telling. Come. Sir? Ah. Morning, Neil. Morning, Edward. Ah, sit down, Edward. Now then. What do you think of this one? I think it could be straight, sir. You'll note in the back say that Galabov's a hardline professional. He is, and that's why the skids may be under him. Because of the Markov business. Markov in London, Kostov in Paris, Bankov in Los Angeles, and some other sins. Well, what about them? Well, they've shown the Bulgarian Secret Service up for what it is. A bunch of unsophisticated, short-sighted hoodlums. And it's all rebounded on the Council of State. Bad for trade, bad for tourism. So what's Kulavov up to? I say taking out insurance. He'll want to stay on, retire in Sofia with his wife and kids. But if it all gets too hot, he'll have a foot in our door and he can always ask us to haul him through. But why is he insisting on a pickup tonight? I think he's testing us, seeing how valuable he is. If we're willing to pull all stops out, get a sandbagger to the place and at the time he's specified... He'll be a VIP in our eyes. Exactly. And he can be just as sure that if ever he wants to defect, we'll move heaven and earth to get him. And asking for Sandbagger too by name? Well, it's worked in Bulgaria. Could have come to Galabov's notice that way. And by insisting on a Sandbagger, he ensures he doesn't get a dummy at the pickup. I think so. If he fixed to pass things to the head of station, he'd be running a big risk. Heads of station aren't used to it. Could start playing at spies. Hmm. Well, I don't know. 
It's a bit like defining the origin of the universe, isn't it? You can make the facts fit any theory you like. You worried about a setup? Well, it's a possibility, isn't it? I mean, Galabos jumped in, demanded a rendezvous this evening. Too short a time for us to debate it properly. And with the chief of their secret service suddenly offering irresistible stuff. But if he wanted a prize, wouldn't he have named Willie Kane instead of Elliot? Sam Bagger one instead of Sam Bagger two. I think the key is in what you've just said, Neil. Irresistible stuff. I don't see how we can pass it up. I pass it up every time against the liberty or life of a sandbagger. Well, this sort of thing is the reason that we have a special section. I think we've got to recommend to see that we do it. Certainly. We'd give several right arms for the material. Yes. Right. Let's initiate clearance and get Elliot on his way. I am doing a cross-check with the CIA. Well, don't tell them more than you have to. If Kalabov ever does decide to jump, I'd rather he wasn't wooed away from us by the Americans. No, but I'd still like a second assessment of the situation. I think you'll find that it agrees with ours. That's what I'm afraid of. is teaching me how to use a knife and a fork. Vladimir Galabo, Chief of Service, Bulgaria. The guy who shoots first and worries about publicity afterwards. Which may have dropped him in the proverbial with his masters. He's offering us a load of goodies. I'd be real careful. I'd like to be. But he's demanded a rendezvous tonight and named Tom Elliott as the pickup. When did he make the offer? This morning. He staged a minor car accident with the station number two and made the offer while they were haranguing each other. Want me to check him out with the folks back home? Yes. I'd like to know if he's out of favor with the Council of State. Now, you probably won't have an answer before Tom's going to leave. But I can still stop him running at the other end. OK. I suppose you've already thought about a setup. Uh, maybe a spy swap? We're not holding anyone worth swapping. Could be legit. Could be. But if it isn't, Tom's going to find out the hard way. Yeah. I got to get going. So, uh, anyways, I'm sorry. I totally forgot what day it was. Hard to believe it's a year ago, isn't it? I think you might need a friend tonight. I'm all right. Well, it's lousy, isn't it? Having to send somebody in a year to the night. It's worse than that. Laura was sandbagger too. Tom is sandbagger too. Laura was killed just after 11 o'clock. And Tom's rendezvous was for 11.15. You're really worried, aren't you? I'm determined, Jeff. If I'm not satisfied Galabos on the level, I'm not letting Tom run. Yeah. Galabos pretty heavy. Your masters may force you. Let them try. So the rendezvous is set for 22.15 our time, 23.15 in Morning, sir. Morning, Sam. Sit, Ren. Operation code name is Golden Eagles. Sandbagger 2 departs Heathrow at 13.40 Alpha. All right, Sophie International via Brussels at 1915 Bravo. On arrival, Sandbagger 2 will find a key waiting for him for a bolt hole. He'll collect that. Is the bolt hole fixed? Not yet, sir. We passed the requirement to station. Tell them we want the address of it by noon. They won't be daft enough to leave the address with the key. I've double checked. He'll collect the key and he'll make his way to the Hotel Sophia where he's got a reservation. There'll be absolutely no pre pickup contact with the station. Good. Are you happy to be unarmed? Prefer it, sir. Well, we did discuss it, didn't we? We thought of getting the station to leave the gun for him at a drop somewhere, but... But if it, if it does go badly, or I get picked up on a police check, the gun could only make bigger trouble. Agreed. The rendezvous with Kalabov is as signaled. It's a small street behind Narodno-Sobrani Square at 23.15 local time. If all goes well, 
I collect the material, return to my hotel, and take the 1425 British Airways flight out tomorrow. And the bolt hole? If for any reason he's unhappy about returning to the hotel, then he'll use the bolt hole. It's then at his discretion whether or not he takes tomorrow's flight out or waits until he's relieved of the papers. Station number two will ring the hotel in midnight local. Public phone, short, sharp, no identification beyond the fictitious name. Right. If all's well, Sandbagger 2 will say that he was not asleep. But if he hasn't got the papers, that he was asleep. Fine. Now, have you seen pictures of Galabo? Yes, sir. I'll recognize him. Good. Now, how long will it take you to get from your hotel room to the rendezvous? I'd like to leave 15 minutes. Right. Then from your arrival until 2300, stay in your room. Now, if I want the mission aborted, the station will phone you and say the weather forecast isn't suitable for your plans. Now, if that happens, do nothing. Just get a good night's sleep and come home tomorrow. Understood, sir. And if the station doesn't contact you, you can run. Got it. Right, see me before you go. Judy, officer. Sir! Roger. See you once, you, sir. Right. I'd like you to go over to the Foreign Office, have a chat with Wellingham. Oh? There seems to be some kind of hiccup on political clearance for Golden Eagle. Good, because I didn't want to do it. I've approved the Operation Neil on the recommendations of the Deputy Chief and Deant. Yes, sir. If Galabov is going to come across with a list of his agents, it could save lives. Perhaps some of our people's. I've just got a bad feeling about this. So is Wellingham, it seems. Well, i better go over now, sir. Elliot's got to leave. Just a moment, Sit down. I didn't approve it lightly. No, I'm sure of that, sir. I know this is a bad moment, but uh, there's to be a temporary Manning standard imposed on the special section. In what way? The complement of sandbaggers is to be reduced from three to two, which means, in effect, the first one to leave will not be replaced. We were guaranteed the cuts wouldn't be greater than 10 per cent. That's the 33 and a third, sir. The guarantee was 10 per cent across the board. Well, where else am I going to be cut? Mission planning? The Don't worry about it now. The only reason I'm telling you is that I think you should be aware of the machinations. Sir? It's the old story. The special operations section is deeply unloved in Whitehall. Makes our masters nervous and uneasy. A cut by 33 and a third could be the thin edge of a very large axe. But you must have a say in the matter, surely. I have. But I need ammunition to prove that the sandbaggers are necessary. And if you're going to preserve them in cotton wool, I won't get it. Something to think about, Neil. A couple of major successes, real special operation stuff like the Sophie job, could be just what we need. But silence your critics, allow us to breathe again. I appreciate that, sir. Then don't let Wellingham talk you out of Golden Eagle, just because it would be easier for him to say no. But are we sure the Bulgarians aren't trying to arrest a sandbagger? We can't be sure, sir, but we can't think of any reason why they would. We haven't got a Kroger or a Lonsdale tucked away. No. If I do get political clearance and Elliot ends up on the front page of the Sophia morning star. I am conscious of the risks, sir. Very conscious of them. I thought you were lacking some of your usual fire and brimstone this morning. You don't want to take it, do you? Well, the intelligence director seems to have an explanation for every query. Including Galabos asking for Elliot by name? I was thinking about that on the way over. Elliot did a job in Bulgaria three months ago. Now, if he wasn't as clever as he should have been, or indeed even if he was, the Bulgarians could have got pictures of him. And Galabov would opt for the sandbagger with the most recent photograph on fire. Well, it would be logical, wouldn't it? I mean, if he could recognize Elliot, he could be sure that he's putting the material into safe hands. Then you'd like me to get clearance in the operation? In the absence of anything concrete against it, yes. I wish you'd be more enthusiastic about it. We have to sell this to the Prime Minister. Well, I don't want to put my sandbaggers at risk. But on the other hand, no one wants to lose out on the chance of getting Galabov's material. Or the possibility that Galabov, if encouraged, might defect to us at a later date. There is that, too. All right. What time does Elliot leave from Heathrow? 13.40. Very well. I should think we can get the Prime Minister's decision on it before then. I believe he's lunching with members of the TUC. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say about the sandbaggers' conditions of service. 
Still fighting over that pay, huh? I still don't think that £5,700 a year is much. Not for the man that's got to walk into that Sophia Street tonight. Now, Tom is fully briefed. He's ready to go. We'll be up in a few minutes. Mm. Now, I did another check with MI5. Oh? Yeah, I thought if they were about to move against some important Bulgarian who thought that he might be at risk... The Bulgarians might grab Tom first as insurance. Yeah. But five are not on the move. They are looking for a couple of Bulgarians, but they can't find them. Well, if Galavos' list is genuine, we may be able to help. It doesn't help Tom, though, does it? There's no reason not to send him. Not to send him, no. But if the CIA assessment doesn't tally with ours, I'm not letting him run. What do you mean? Well, if the CIA say that Galabov's got the skids under him, Tom can run. But if they say that Galabov's still a hatchet man, he doesn't leave his hotel. Well, the operation's approved now. I'll warn Peel before close of play, but there's oh. nothing you can do about it. He doesn't know our recall arrangements, and I'm certainly not going to tell him. I'll murder you. It's better than getting Tom killed. I did think of going out with Tom, but uh, it's a bit dodgy. Much too dodgy. If we don't do exactly as Galabov's instructed, he'll get twitched and pull out. All right, Willie. Diane? Yes? Is Tom out there yet? Yes, he is. Send him in. I'll see him alone. All set? Ready? Not entirely willing. I was going to say, if you get unhappy in any way, to abort the mission. But you'll probably say you're unhappy now and go home. I'm all right, sir. See you tomorrow evening. That's a date. Good luck. Thanks. Evening, sir. I'm just going out to get a sandwich for William myself. Wondered if you wanted anything. Why don't you get home? There's nothing you can do. Yes, I know, but uh... they also serve only stand and wait, yeah? Yes. Matter of luck, I suppose. What? That it was Tom who was named. You're not saying I hope that you wish you'd been named. Oh, I know I'd be scared, but in a way it's easier to go than to stay, isn't it? How do you think I feel as an ex-sandbagger with three of you charging off around the world? Sir, this temporary manning standard, I... Well, we won't be getting rid of you. Unless, of course, you bring back lousy sandwiches. Double round. Cheese in the bottom. Huh? Right, sir. Edward, it's new. Could I meet you in Peel's office in a couple of minutes? Thank you. Burnside, sir. Could I come up and see you and bring Dean? Thank you, sir. Come. Are you nocturnal, Neil? Sir? You always want to start the day's business when I want to go home. We do have a special operation underway, sir. Not something one can explain to the local bridge club. Come. Don't you ever go home? You're a bridge player too, are you? Sorry? Let's get on with it, shall we? Yes, sir. As you know, I've asked the CIA for their assessment of Galabov, his current standing in the Council of State. Yes. Well, if he doesn't agree with Edward's assessment, I'm going to abort the mission. You mean you'd like to abort the mission? Yes, sir. I've told you. I'll be surprised if the assessments conflict. But if they do, if one casts doubt on the other, I don't want Tom to run. What would you tell C? Wellingham? The Prime Minister? Well, the truth. 
that we've had late intelligence pointing to an increased risk of a setup. The fact remains that the Prime Minister approved the operation on the SIS assessment. That isn't going to change. It's like standing in the middle of a blizzard and saying it isn't snowing because the weather forecast promised sunshine. What I am saying is that we should consult the Foreign Office at least before we are bought. There may not be time, sir. Neil, I appreciate the dilemma, but let's not overlook the importance of those documents. If I was overlooking that, I wouldn't have sent him at all. No. I don't think we can cancel now. Not without a much more definite reason. Sir, I've come to report that if I'm not happy, I'm going to abort the job. That's not a decision you can take. I've made arrangements to take it. Sorry? I've got clearance procedure worked out with Elliot, independent of the station. Yes? No one else knows it, and I'm not going to divulge it. I'll be in the outer office if anyone needs me. I warned you before about squabbling in front of other people. I'm not squabbling, sir. I'm stating facts. You haven't the authority to abort that mission on a CIA assessment? No, but I do have the means. At this moment, you are very close to being fired. I'm not sure I care, sir. If you abort that mission without my approval or C's, I'll have you out of here within 24 hours. Understood, sir. Why are you two still on watch anyway? We thought we'd see it through, sir. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Two hours until he leaves the hotel. We can count. The ops officer? Yes, put him on. Mr. Ross, sir. Jeff? Neil, I got your answer for you. Looks like the fat cat over there really is in trouble. Could be on the level. Or he could be attempting to recoup his reputation with a major event at our expense. Well, there's only one way to find out. Look, I'll bring the signal over to you on the way home, okay? Yes, thanks. We'll see you in, what, half an hour? Good night, Jeff. Yeah. No. Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Are you okay? You find me praying, lady. Problem? Well, not ours. Thank God. Sandbag are too clear to run. We want every detail of the game. Well, nothing else, sir. Only there was a shooting at the rendezvous. Did they take him? We don't know, sir. Nor if he's alive or dead. See, why set him up just to kill him? Yeah, that's true. Gives us some hope. All right, let's inform number 10, the FCO desk and DN. You better call in C and the deputy chief. And alert Wellington. Sorry. Can you put that in hand for me, Mike? Yes. Tonight's whereabouts, sure. Yes. Duty ops officer. Roger. He was not killed, and he's not in custody. The bolt hole. If he could make it. What's the next flight to Sofia? Well, there's only one tomorrow, sir. It's, um... Part Heathrow at uh, 0945, direct to Sofia, flight BA712. 0945? Affirmative, sir. Right, Sam Bagger, one to go. False name, false passports, fully documented. I don't care if they got a stamp or nine, do it by hand. Roger, sir. They can do the same for me. You, sir? Correct. Zero. 
Can you come with us, Jeff? What for? Well, I want to operate totally independent of the station. Well, you have to. It's going to be on a full surveillance waiting for Tom to make contact. Or for them to go out making contact with him. Mm. We'll need to be armed and we can't risk a drop. You want me to draw guns from my station and Sophie and pass them on to you guys? Yes. I better get permission. Call me at home with a rendezvous, okay, Neil? Yes, thanks, Jeff. I don't like the idea of you going out to... Yes, Sandbagger One. Do you object to my presence I at the special... I don't object, of course. I don't object. There are others who will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't you enjoy the flies, Sir Jeff? Only with our thumb. Did they look quite well? And he looked more than that. Yes, thank you. I'll come in. Uh, <laughs> abject apologies to my guests, but I'm summoned to Whitehall. He does this regularly. Gets him out of the washing up. Washing up is marginally more exciting than late night meetings at the FCO. <laughs> Station's information coming from. They've got a tame police officer, but he wasn't at the rendezvous. And he thinks that Elliot was hit. Well, that's what the Bulgarians are claiming. Now, whether it's true or they're just boosting the morale, we don't know. Making excuses, I should think. Let's hope so. And Elliot will have made for this, what do you call it? Bolt hole, yes, sir. And what are you proposing? Kane and myself to go out on tomorrow morning's flight. You? I'd like to take personal charge of the mission, sir, out there. That's not a good idea, Neil. It's Kane's job to go, but I can't have my Diops in a live theatre. I agree. And I won't approve it. We'll be on false passports with false Even names. Even so, the Bulgarians are going to be jumping out there. And if they jump on you, you've got eight and a half years, is it, of detailed operational knowledge? Your time as Diops would be enough. A knowledge of every station and every operation current in the world. I appreciate that, sir, but because it's a live theatre, Kane will need someone to watch his back, especially when he goes to the boat hole. Send Sandbagger 3. Well, he's too inexperienced for this one, sir. In my opinion, Neil's right. In these circumstances, he should go himself. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, Matthew. Neil needs foreign office permission to go abroad, and I won't grant it. Gentlemen, a year ago tonight in Berlin, I lost my previous handbagger, Laura Dickens. She was shot dead a yard or two in front of me in Berlin, and I vowed then I would never lose another handbagger. Now, I'm going to go to Bulgaria tomorrow, whether I go as the operation director of SIS or as the former operations director. What would be your plan? We have the address of the boat home. We'll get a spare key to it at the airport. As much as I hate guns, I feel we need to be armed for this. And the CIA will provide us weapons totally independent of our station. That would be sensible. I'll cover Kane while he goes to the boat home. 
That way, if the Bulgarians have got it staked out, they should only get one of us. And if it's clear? I'll make a decision on that when I see what state Elliot's in. You may need station help to get him out. We do have CIA backup. Ah. All right, Neil. Against my better judgment. Thank you, sir. But this is an order. Get him out quietly, Neil. Very quietly. Now, if a special op comes up while we're away, you'll have to take it. Yes, sir. You'll be tasked by the deputy chief. Now, you've heard Willie and Tom say all manner of things about him, most of them uncomplimentary. Yes, sir. Well, they're not true. He's very experienced, and he's seen it all before. And the presidency is probably the best we've had in 10 years. Now, listen to them and mark what they have to say. But remember, neither of them has been a sandbagger. They may ask more than you feel able to give. I'll do my best, sir. Fine. Don't try and do more than that. Well, there are no James Bonds in this business, Mike. No charm lives. You're an officer of the Secret Intelligence Service. Highly trained and very difficult to replace. I understand. OK. Thank you, sir. Good luck, sir. sign of a tail on you. Not on you. It's about time. Where you guys been, anyway? Checking for followers. Well, it's a bit nerve-wracking, wandering around Sophia like Billy the Kid. Terrific. Hasn't anybody told you guys that TWA changed its livery about five years ago? It told us to supply a TWA grip measuring 14 by 11. Yeah, but that thing you've got's a collector's item. Well, it's yours now, so stop complaining. We'll see you back here at 16.30, okay? Yep. Hey. You guys take a lot of care. Group at the other end of the street? Yes. No, I, I can't move. Look at it. The, the, the 
Crispy Foods. Under the mattress. Where? What was the bed? This look genuine. Yeah. It was collab. At the rendezvous. It wasn't a setup. <laughs> they were letting him hang himself. Well, D. Int and CIA were right. He was buying insurance. His own people were onto him. Maybe the car prank with station number two. They were already suspicious. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. No, don't move me. Where are you hit? Back. It's not much of a wound. Bleeding stopped. Clothes have sealed it. But? Bullet. Must have clipped the spine. Moved when I got in here. Paralyzed. Paralyzed? Everything. It's my head. My right arm. Give your gun, will you? My right hand. Oh, don't be bloody silly, Tom. Who's gonna move me? Bulgarians. Burnside's here. We'll work something out. <laughs> Will he? Tom, don't give up. Not now. I know. We've got to move him. We can't. We'd kill him. He's going to die anyway if he stays there. He's paralyzed. The bullets exposed the spine. He'd be dead before we lift him off the blankets. Even if we managed it, he'd never survive a journey. Then we've no choice. One of us has got to go to the Bulgarians, ask for help. Wasn't the order to avoid a diplomatic incident at all costs? Not at this cost. What if we go to the Bulgarians? At anyway, best, he's paralyzed for life. At the worst, they'll put him against the wall and shoot him. I'm not losing another sandbagger. I know how you feel. You have no idea how I feel. I saw Laura killed too, you know. I just spoke to Tom. I watched him weep. He was dying in a stinking bed sitter 1,200 miles from home. He was lying there in his own urine, excrement, because he can't move. He was just begging for a gun to finish it. Now, talk to me about feelings. Got the envelope, that's the important thing. I think the least we can do for Tom is to get it clear. Yes. Get it to Ross, will he? Tell him to put it in the embassy bag. We'll pick it up in London. And what are you going to do? 
go back and see Tom. You give me your word you won't go to the Bulgarians? Give me the key. I'll go back. The key, Willie. What are you going to do? End it for him. See you back here. Let me go. You said it yourself, will you? The important thing's the end with it. Has Ross got the envelope? It was dead when I got there. He dragged himself off the bed. Come on, Willie, it's gonna rain. 